Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Resident Evil Village. I'm sorry it's been so long since the last part. I never intend for parts in the series to be this far apart. Uh, but with Thanksgiving and getting called back into work, I just didn't have the time for it. But luckily, over the weekend, I did get some free time, and I used that to record basically this whole week's worth of footage, so I have a head start on the channel, which means I have time to work on not only this, but some other more specialty projects that I wanted to work on. But you'll hear more about that in the near future. Anyway, last time we talked to that shopkeep, met our enemies, and now we march into their lair. Castle Dimitrescu. Or Dimitrescu. Could Rose be here? Yeah, I'm actually not sure how it's pronounced. I've heard people say it both ways. I'm not sure which one is the correct one. Three daughters. Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. Hmm. January 5th. Redneck. Delivery of one male, three females. January 28th. Mother Miranda. Meeting with Mistress Dimitrescu. February 1st, the Duke. Business discussions. It's like a guest ledger. Or maybe not guests, more like just an entry ledger. I can break the vases and find ammo. Okay, this really is a video game. What about this glass? Can I break that? Actually, yes I can. Gunpowder. Okay. It's been so long since I played this, I can tell I'm going to have a little bit of trouble getting back into the swing of things. $500? I, I can't imagine that's equivalent to dollars, but nothing happens. Okay, so... Somebody's banging around the exterior. I need to find some way to restore the power and maybe get this thing going. After the explosiveness of that mad dash out of the castle before, this seems to be a kind of slow down moment. I'm now realizing that that sound was the gate coming down. Well, we are now prisoners inside the building. But yeah, I'm going to take this moment to kind of comment on my thoughts so far. Unlike Resident Evil 7, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's got... All of that detail and extremely high-end production value that Resident Evil 7 had. But my biggest disappointment so far is the fact that it's not really... scary. I mean, it's horror-themed, but it doesn't have any of that tension, that feeling of helplessness that Resident Evil 7 had. It's definitely much larger in scale, which I suppose is fitting for a sequel. But it just feels like a completely different type of game. Which, granted, I understand you don't want to make the same thing over and over again. That was what Resident Evil 7 was, was a departure from the Resident Evil formula. Sometimes it's easy to forget that it even is part of that same franchise, but... What are you looking at? But at the same time... You know, I came here because I wanted more Resident Evil 7. And yes, it's not like they're obligated to provide that. But I really don't know if this can even be classified as horror. Why are they even keeping ammo in these things? Were those footsteps mine? Man, I need to put my mouse DPI up because it is taking me far too much of my mouse pad to actually swing this camera view around. Okay, I may have spoken too soon. It's all been high-octane vampire werewolf action up until this point, but now... This is reminding me more of Resident Evil 7, right down to the fact that that game featured an environment that looked very similar to this. Right down to the fact that I bet I won't be able to push through this door without solving some kind of puzzle. Mask the Angel's blinded gaze. I didn't get to finish reading that. Yes. <laughs> ah. 
There's more main enemies? And more injuries to be sustained. I don't want to be in the Hocus Pocus sequel. One was enough. Just let my childhood be my childhood. We don't need it to be commoditized. Co commoditized? Commo What's the syntax of that? Mother, I bring you fresh prey. You are so kind to me, daughters. <laughs> uh, are you the ones who feature now, in the artwork in the front? Let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Yeah, he is an idiot, isn't he? Yes, Maybe we can bond over that and form a friendship that ends with you letting me go. <laughs> Stop doing that. My hand's been through enough. Oh my god, it was a joke, but they really are vampires. Starting to go a little stale. Then let's devour his man flesh quickly, Mother. But I am the one who captured him. Now, now, daughters. First, I must inform Mother Miranda. But later, well, there will be enough for everyone. <laughs> Udama! Hey, hey, wait. <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I'm in control. Well, I guess this is just my life now. Oh, no. After everything this character has been through, it's going to make me mutilate my own hands. Oh, come on. I don't like this. I'm going to wince at this. No, come on. Oh, I can feel it just looking at it. Um, I'm actually looking away from the screen right now. Oh, this character has been through too much. Hurting his hands is almost like a meme at this point. How can I even hold anything? Yeah, witches be crazy. Ah, oh, it's a good thing I got a good old vial of healing juice here. Now, will that cause my fingers to grow back? In the last game, it was enough to cause my... Well, basically my entire hand to grow back. Or not grow back, just kind of stick it back on. And having such a large open fireplace in the bedroom doesn't seem like the best idea. Crimson glass. Okay, what do I use that for? And some kind of lever? Oh, I was just listening. I, I thought I could hear like a voice in the other room or something, but it was just the sound of wind whistling through the cracks in the wood or maybe down from the chimney. Okay, how am I getting out of here? I still have my weapons. Nobody's yet thought to disarm me. That's twice now. And there's one of the veils that they were wearing and the gloves. If they can turn into a swarm of bugs, how do I know they won't be back any second? How do I know they're not just under the couch right now all snickering in their little roach language? An easy to pick lock. Well... Unfortunately, I don't have the screwdriver on me anymore. There's a hole in the back of the fireplace. Uh, now the question remains, should I continue to thoroughly search this area? Maybe find something useful, or... I mean, going through this door has got to be a trap, right? Locked from the other side. Okay, thank you for making my decision for me. Can I close this behind me so it's not super obvious where I went? Because I'll be honest, if the people that are going to be coming after me can turn into swarms of bugs, crawling through narrow crawlways doesn't really seem like the winning edge that I need. 
And if there's somebody that can turn into rats, like in uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula from 1992, well, I'm kind of without a paddle in that circumstance. More rusted scrap. Is there... Oh, right, there is a crafting system. I've been away for only a week, and I've already forgotten that there's a crafting system. Maroon Eye Ring. That honestly doesn't look like any normal person could squeeze through that. Ah, here's a thought. What if it started to turn and close while you were going through? Aha. The horror classic. A suit of armor that appears to be looking at me. I've seen enough Scooby-Doo to know that I should at least see what... ...happens. What's that noise? What are those noises? It sounds like gears turning or something being lifted by a chain. I only have two shells for the shotgun, but I doubt Where they'll they Rose? I doubt they'll do much for me in this context. I mean, look, you always have to assume No, nothing's going to work here. You always have to assume that I'm sorry, I'm just so paranoid that something's going to come at me from behind. You always have to assume in these games that it's some kind of bioweapon at play here, but the things that I'm seeing lean more into oh, mythology than anything. What are you doing here? Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Uh, actually, maybe I could, uh, I could be interested in some shotgun shells. So Dalmitresk, that's how it's pronounced. Thank you for clearing that up, mister. Of course, if you have enough pull around here to be able to set up shop right in our front room, can you maybe help me out in other ways? Like, I don't know, maybe get them to stop doing stuff to my hands? Naturally. Alright, what have you got for me? Supplies, supplies. A thousand bucks for some shotgun shells. Well, how much will that give me? Five? I think I'll take my chances... I'm skilled at all sorts. With the crafting. Hang on. Okay. Now, how do I craft? If I want... Okay, wait. I can I can only craft... What are those? Handgun ammo or first aid? Next we meet. That's not what I need. I have plenty of handgun ammo. Or do I? No, do I? I said do I. Yeah, I have plenty of handgun ammo. That's not what I want right now. I need shotgun shells for the heavy hitters. And it's not going to be like in Lost in Vivo, where they don't do anything. Norston's Labyrinth, a craftsman of the late 19th century, was branded a heretic in his homeland. He wandered the lands until he settled in a remote village. Norston then created four labyrinths. The castle, the house on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. Each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be Norshton's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their graves. Okie doke. So what do I want with that? And this also functions as a save room. Okay. We're going to stagger our saves so that if I really screw something up and end up totally without ammo or health, I can load an even earlier save and get myself out of a bad situation. The last thing I want with a game like this is to save myself into a corner. Thanks for nothing, Fatso. Who, actually, you seem much bigger in here than you did out there. Uh, but maybe that's just a perspective trick. Unless you really have gained weight in that time. What? What's the matter? 
Uh, just, just the heart attacks again. You get those like three or four times a day, but your veins are just too wide to allow... You know, never mind. I got a baby to find. Also, I was pretty stoked on the whole eyes adjusting to the darkness thing early on. But in here, I don't know, it just seems like the shadows are way too dark. I might have to turn my brightness up. This is actually quite a cozy space if it weren't for the vampires and witches and Norse giants and evil men in trench coats and werewolves and... Did I mention the vampires? I think I mentioned the vampires trying to kill me. Oh yeah, and how could I forget that creepy little doll thing? God, that was the most jarring thing I've seen so far. That, <laughs> that That's just not Resident Evil. Can't wait to learn what that's all about. I have to say, it's the thing I'm most intrigued by so far. Locked from the other side. Yes, yeah, story of my life. Some of you said that you don't think this game really fits the channel. I think this opens up to that hallway, yeah. Some of you said this game doesn't really fit the channel, and I disagree. I mean, yes, it's not the more... It's not the more surreal, kind of thinky experience that I normally look for. But I consider this to be primarily a horror analysis channel, so I think a game like this with a more straightforward narrative will still give me plenty to comment on. And it has so far. Uh, of course, my floundering about doesn't really help. I should get a move on. Let me guess. Lock? No, oh, no, we actually can enter the wine room. I might help myself before I make my great escape. I also don't like how all these busts are angled to be facing me. One, at, one eye is just an empty socket. Can't use this as is. Well, I can manipulate objects, can I? So maybe I have to take it out of the ring. More handgun ammo for me? Yeah, how do I do that? If I take this and press F to examine, maybe I can remove the maroon eye, yes. I hope those aren't the marbles that I need to operate those little miniatures. Here you go. Oh, great, it's you again. Actually, maybe I can just squish your pieces when you're like this. That doesn't seem good. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jugular, and just watch. Take a lie. Okay, everything that's happening to me doesn't really seem like there's much I, I can do about it right now. Ah, uh, God, I'm stuck on everything. Let go. Not really feeling the master of my own destiny right now. I feel like I'm just wasting ammo. I, I, but where do I go? It didn't really give me a clear thing to run towards. Am I just running away? Or can I just... Ugh. Can I just blow you away completely? I would assume not. Is this a supposed to lose boss fight? Mother said uh. stale, but I think you're delicious. And to be honest, these controls are kind of killing it for me right now. Like, this doesn't feel as intense as it could be because of how clunky really? the movement feels. <laughs> Alright, through here. Oh, I get it. I'm probably just supposed to be sprinting. <laughs> you will look wonderful mounted in our hall. Through here? A mirror that... Oh, wait. Yeah, I probably have to pull these out. Yeah, okay, so that was a chase sequence. This is a chase sequence that I just wasted a bunch of ammo on because it didn't really give me a clear indicator of what direction I was supposed to be going. Well, that wasted a bunch of ammo and health for no reason. Can I heal up? Use. Yeah, we learned in the last game that these things have magical healing properties. Maybe if I do it enough, my fingers will grow back. 
June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the other staff were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. Ah, because they're vampires. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. Oh, you're a little afraid. You're a little afa afraid of the management and the work environment after that incident. And at night, I can hear wailing, as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just a crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Now something that I will praise here is that this game definitely does have a different feel to Resident Evil 7, but it is a coherent feel. So Resident Evil 7 was kind of into that rural American Texas Chainsaw Massacre vibe. Well, this one is more storybook in nature. Like the kind of things that children would be fearing. Lady Dumitresque? Are you going to leave on your own, or am I supposed to just crawl right up to you like an idiot? Eh, hopefully I'm just crawling into a cutscene. Not even. It must be so hard for you to live here if you have to duck through doorways. That seems so uncomfortable. That would annihilate your back after a while, and... Well, I know it's not my place to say, but your back is already under enough stress. Alright, what am I looking for? I guess I'll just go the only way I can go. I haven't checked to see if that door is locked, but do I really want to go through it? Not at this moment, let me tell you. More handgun ammo. At least I'll replace some of what I lost. I'm pretty much back to where I was before. Only a few bullets down from that. But I'm also down a healing kit. There's some other wood piles on top of these things. Maybe I can set those alight as well? Yeah, there we go. I'm really glad I picked up on that, or else I would have been stuck at this puzzle for a long time. The question is, what will it do for me? So those sisters, they don't like the light. Whether the same is true for Lady Domitresque is another question, but... That is too dark. This is far too dark. It's a good thing... Oh, I have a light. Good. I was going to say, it's a good thing Ethan carries ambient light with him wherever he goes. I could have sworn that I just heard footsteps that weren't mine. It's covered in dried blood. Yeah, that is a torture set up in the full shape of a person. Just imagining a person in that. That sounded like a whisper to my right. Okay, I don't think I'm alone down here. No, I do not think for one second that I'm alone in these tunnels. Oh god. Oh god, it's GM Catacombs. Candidates, Arena, Mahila, Lois, Ingrid. Rejects, Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camelia, Bianca, Melinda, Astrid, Lamilla, Rosalinda, Lena, Stefana, and Gabriella. You know, there was a similar note in the basement in Resident Evil 7. Listing all the people who turned and the ones who died. But this seems the dead end. Where am I going? Maybe through here. Yes, there's a hole in the wall of this cell. Okay, can I... I'm sorry, this is getting to me at this point. Can I raise my FOV? Yeah, I can't find anything to 
raise my FOV. I know you're probably meant to feel at least somewhat claustrophobic. What's hanging from the bags? But also with how long it takes me to whip around, even with my DPI turned up, it feels even worse. Like, it just feels like I'm physically cramped sitting here in my chair. Irina, robust appetite. Mihaela, robust appetite. Lois, robust appetite. Ingrid, unstable, overly alert at times. It looks like they performed some kind of procedure down here. I'm seeing a lot of syringes and jars of chemicals. Are they turning other people into vampires like them? What's in here? I can't see. They look body shaped though. More handgun ammo? As if that's even gonna do anything. I just heard a hiss. Is it coming from these? They're seemingly moving on their own, and actually, looking at it from this angle, are those feathers sticking down? Is the sound coming from these? Are they turning them into crow people? Is that what the crow cult... I walked right into that. What is with these blackened corpses? Uh, metal scrap. This game's thrown a lot more questions. Is that me that answers? What is that? What is that? What is that? What was that? Are you the unstable one? Okay, we there's more than one of you. There's more than one of you. Uh Okay, I need you to funnel down this hallway. There's three of you. Uh okay, maybe there's four of you. Maybe you're maybe you're the subjects from those notes. No! Okay, there's more than four. More than four. Please give me something to do in these grab-on cutscenes. I feel kind of helpless when you just show them to me with nothing to mash, no buttons to press, no nothing. I shouldn't be focusing on looking behind me. I should focus on moving forward and finding a way out of here because... caused all this mess. You can just come right through that, can't you? Okay. This game's not giving me a whole lot of direction. Is this because I said I didn't feel helpless before? Is this because I said the game wasn't scaring me enough? Because I was just kidding. I didn't mean all that. It's so hard to think when all this stuff is happening at once. Just don't do anything else to my hands, please. What about raid? Ah, but sunlight can. You stupid man thing! I won't forgive you! Ah, so you can be harmed in the light, so we gotta keep you there. This can't be! Oh, it is! Ow! I think I missed that last shot. Okay, um... I'd like it if you could die post-haste. I don't really have a lot of room to maneuver. Okay, thanks! This game does not give you time to process any of what you've seen. <laughs> wow, so you've lived this whole time, and this is what did you in. I don't even know what broke the window. 
I can't even tell what happened right there. Or maybe it was the bullets that I fired at her when... Okay, so I got the crystal torso. <laughs> I guess Ethan Winters in his infinite wisdom decided I'm just going to pick up that whole thing and carry it with me. Ah, oh, I need a second. Alright, so one down, two to go. But that's just the witches. That's not really a worthwhile measurement of all the things that are trying to kill me. Uh, for example, we have Lady Demetresque. We have Van Helsing. We have the giant troll. We have that weird... Christ, I don't even know what to call it. That weird ogre-looking thing. And then there's the dummy lady. And let's not forget about Crow Jesus. This game has quite an ensemble of named characters. Or at least ones that stand out. I really am just rambling at this point. Let me recoil compensator. Huh, so there's custom parts. Increased firepower on the handgun would be nice, because that means that I'll get more bang for the buck of my most common ammo type. And a lockpick, which I've yet to ascertain if these are single use. Now this is the kind of dining room where something could be hiding in the shadows of a dark corner. Can I come through here? No, of course it's locked. Uh, Sanguis Reginus, a vintage bottle of wine ornamented with intricate silver flowers. It looks like it was bottled a long time ago. Hey, maybe I can sell that for a pretty penny. Unlocking the door from this side Meaning we're led right back here, which is where I encountered that witch for the first time. Uh, you know what that means. Time to see how much I can fence this wine for. Yo, fat boy, you still in? Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find something new. Yeah, yeah, same with the spiel. I'm trying to make money, not spend it. ways to pass the time. Please do take a look at my new stock. Okay, so I can sell the crystal fragment. And it is only for selling, okay. I'm, gl I'm glad the game tells you that. Crystal skull, I can sell those. And a crystal torso, which is worth a fortune. <laughs> Domitresque's daughter's crystallized remains. Valuable. <laughs> okay, so I can just hawk that thing. Crimson glass... I really am just selling all their stuff. This has been a home invasion gone wrong. Now with my new 12,300 lay to bring I me to over 15,000 total, price. I can now focus on purchasing the stuff that really matters in life. For example, a... Mm, is the high cap mag worth it? Uh, maybe. Getting upgrades early on is going to be the way to get the most bang for my buck out of them. Oh, I can also purchase recipes. Well, I'm definitely going to want the shotgun ammo recipe. <laughs> and I can purchase more inventory space. Okay, so I pretty much blew through everything immediately, but I have more crafting capabilities now. Thank you for your patronage! As well as a much better handgun after the last couple of upgrades, so hopefully I'm a little bit better equipped to handle the horrors within this castle. I want to record for a little bit longer tonight because it's been so long since the last episode. I don't often get the chance to sit down and record what is essentially a fourth video for the week, but when I do, I'm going to make a point to get a little bit farther in this game because I understand that this is going to be a bit longer than the other games that I've played. Was I able to come this way before? Oh, this is this is the room where they had me strung up before. Yes. All right, well, let's get back there. Where was I trying to go last time? I was on my way up the stairs in search of Rose when I was interrupted by that witch. But I was going that way. I was going to go through that door that I opened with the crimson eye. 
I believe I've re-entered through this way. Oh no, I never actually entered the wine room. I just took a peek before. So that's chem fluid, which I can use, I think, to produce more health, which I'm going to have to do momentarily. The winemaking techniques of Castle Damatres can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Damatresque uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. His best vintage is Sanguinis Reginus, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Uh, yeah, well, you're gonna find it on eBay tomorrow morning. Resident Evil and Hidden Rooms. Name a more iconic duo. Thank you for the gunpowder, but what else has this done for me? Courtyard key. I can get out of here. The question is, which of these doors leads to the courtyard? Now... I was trying to go this way last time, and in my haste, I didn't really get a chance to get a good look at the layout of these halls, but following this too far will lead me back to those accursed basements, and I don't think I have the firepower to deal with them. I mean, there were a lot of those creatures down there. I will say, as much as it shorted my brain out running from one nightmare into another nightmare into another nightmare, it was quite cinematically paced, which is what I praised this game for in the beginning. I mean, that is such a horror trope, right? You're running from the monster, you go to hide somewhere in the dark, creepy basement, and then what else should find you down there but the monster that was also down there all along? Now, I can craft shotgun ammo now. And while we're at it, I'm also going to have to craft myself some health. Get a couple of those. Get some of these. And now I need more rusted scrap and more chem fluid in order to get more. But six shells should do me just fine for the time being. Now, I don't suppose you're the courtyard. Mask the angel's blinded gaze, and only then will you be saved. Mask the angel's blinded gaze, so I need to find something that fits in these indentations. For each of them, so there's one, two, three, and four. Oh, so I do actually have a map. Okay, so rooms that I haven't searched all the way are in red. And if I've seen something but not taken it, it will display. Okay, so it's like the Resident Evil 2 remake. So there's something in the dining room that I haven't picked up. Or wait, is it just saying that that's where I picked up the courtyard key? Hang on, I'm a little bit confused. Let's go back there and see what we got. Or maybe that's where I'm supposed to use something. Shall I give you the two? Nope! Okay, so you guys can just show up whenever. Uh, I hope she doesn't know what I did to her sister. Oh, I can't run away from you. I actually, I actually can't run away from you. That's a shame because. Oh, so what can I do? Is there anything I can do to actually like slow you down? Shooting you doesn't do anything, I assume, right? So what can I do about you? Can't run. Can't fight. What does that leave? Uh, oh, courtyard key, courtyard key. Okay, it indicates where I have to use it. Alright, so now we know that the enemies can just appear at times. Unless she was only showing up because I got close to where I was supposed to go, but... Oh, that could be really dangerous for me. I'm going to have to proceed with the assumption that there's danger ever-present. In Resident Evil 7, you could kind of tell when you were and weren't going to be hunted, which was kind of a mark against it. Actually, now that I think about it, 
As long as I'm out here, I should be safe from the two remaining sisters, at least. As for whether Lady Domitress can come out here, well, that remains to be seen. Oh no, a cutscene. Bad things happen to my hands in cutscenes. Oh no, I didn't mean to use my other health. I don't think I can make more either. Well, that's a problem. Why does it let me use health when I'm already at full? Actually, I may not have been at full, but I was at least close to it. Uh, why am I always heading in the direction of where the evil vampire lady is going? Well, more chem fluid. Maybe I can produce another one of these things. I've gone and used two of my shotgun shells as well in the previous encounter, just out of reflex. What have you done to my daughter? A soldier? <laughs> Sorry about that. Is this a map of the area? Yes, okay. Good to have, good to have. Is that an actual pool of blood? It's certainly got a reddish tinge to it. And I've got to walk through the center in order to get to that plaque on the other side. I am in absolute astonishment that nothing came out of that pool. That's... Insane. I honestly thought she was right there. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown, so that soon the wine may flow. Oh wait, I can examine the back of this statue. Oh, I get it. It's a puzzle, and I bet this is a clue. Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown so that soon the wine may flow. Okay, so... There we go. Alright, that was a little more intuitive than I thought it would be. And down we go. Oh, great, another basement. Are there going to be more of those knife-wielding hags down there? And just how many of them did you make, anyway? Judging by the notes, there would be at least four, but it seemed like there were a lot more than that. Now, why am I carrying around the shotgun? We spent all this time and money upgrading our pistol. Might as well use it. And it's the thing that's got the ammo as well. Now, I didn't realize this until editing, but that shrine outside in the village, it had one of these goats in it and said something about breaking them. It was a warning against breaking them, but what happens if we do? You get an achievement called Cynic, apparently. I really hope this is wine. What the hell? Now, the last time I saw these sacks, those creatures from the basement were present, so we're going to want to keep an eye out for sure. Oh, yeah, I hear, I hear things down here. And another hanged corpse. Yep, there's more of you. I couldn't see if that was one of them climbing over or if it threw a body over. Which one of those things it is is very important because that's going to determine whether something's going to pop up as I round this corner. Never be distracted by promises of items. Especially not when they're next to a blind corner like this, because sometimes they're meant to distract you. Ah! Like that! 
I need you to die as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Wow, this pistol really does pack a punch compared to before. I don't think I killed any of them last time, but she went down in just a few hits, and I have lots of ammo to spare. Once again, gonna sell your calcified remains on the black market. Are you behind me? I know one of you got up somewhere. But where? Where have you gone? There you are. There's two of you. Just gotta go for headshots, learn from the werewolves. Just corral them. That's what you have to do. You have to corral them down a narrow corridor. They don't seem smart enough to go for much else. And a few good headshots should be enough to end them. And my calcified bone business is booming. Some ammo to replace what I just lost, and I really have lost nothing in this transaction. We'll keep a note that this is here, because if we have to run back and double the other way, we can seal off this area, at least temporarily. Buy us a few more seconds. But I think we'll not need to. In a situation where we can actually fight back against enemies that can be killed, it's going to be all about not panicking. It's going to be about controlling the flow and the direction they're coming from. And just making nice, precise shots that stagger them and allow us to back up. That's the big thing. We don't want to get cornered and we don't want to panic. That seems to indicate that there will be one right here. Yep, I... Thank you for the warning. It seems zombie witches, which, by the way, we can add zombies to the list of mythical creatures that are trying to kill us, uh, need to breathe, too. Which works in our favor when you think about it. There you go. But are there more of you in this room? Because I did gain quite a bit of ground right there. Yeah, we got... Three of you active... Okay. Uh, the whole not getting cornered thing is thrown into jeopardy right now. That's one dead. Maybe we can relax a little bit and switch to the pistol. And as my gunfire probably reveals, I am going against my own advice and actually panicking a little bit right now. Uh, really against reason, because two of them are now dead. This one's low on health. I think we're about to be okay. There we go. We got through that with no or little health lost, minimal use of ammo. We're okay. Got a little bit hairy, but we did everything right. Let's just load up our shotgun just in case of a more harrowing encounter. We were off to a little bit of a rough start as far as commentary and mentally getting back in the game, but I think I've kind of found my groove now. Hi. You don't have a weapon, uh, but I'm more concerned about you grabbing me and triggering one of those little cutscenes. I'm also keeping an ear out all the time because the dirtiest trick this game could pull would be to spawn something behind me as I'm backing away. Reimburse my ammo, please. Well, that's some of it. Look at that windmill in the distance. I, I know I talked about it a lot early on in regards to the interiors, but this really is a gorgeous looking game. And I've turned down a lot of things to accommodate the recording. I mean, look at that, just the silhouette of the windmill turning in the mist and the snow in the middle of this old forest. 
I really would like just a creative mode, not a creative mode, but kind of an adventure mode where I can just wander around and explore the map. I don't remember if this game has something like that or not, but it really would be a nice addition because I'd love to be able to just go over this whole thing with a fine-toothed comb. Uh, but no time to... This place has phone service? You are blind, lady. God. And, oh, no, you're standing in the window. So either we have a continuity error here, or you're not the same thing as your daughter's. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. Oh, oh. To hell with the ceremony! That man will pay for what he's done! Uh, now it's personal, and uh, she seems like somebody we don't want to get personal with. Now, something that I forgot to mention earlier, and I only thought of it now because I saw her using a phone. I've assumed this entire time that what we're seeing is the effects of a bioweapon mimicking mythology. But that note we found in the basement was from 1958, indicating that whatever's going on here... It's been going on for at least 70 years. Surely that would predate Umbrella or any other such company, right? We were called by Mother Miranda to decide the fate of the child's father. Just thinking of that family meeting makes me shudder. To think I'm treated like a sister to those miscreants. Especially Heisenberg. That riffraff wouldn't know proper manners if they slapped him in the face. Yeah, that's what Gus Spring found out. I would have sliced him to ribbons if Mother hadn't stopped me. Why? Why does she treat me the same as them? She gave me this castle, obedient daughters, everlasting life, did she not? Am I not her favorite? Am I not special? I need a drink. Uh, given your drinking habits... Uh, that sounds like somebody paid the price for your anger. Rose, where are you? So this is her chamber, which we have entered without the need. I don't like those random noises. Locked from the other side, which we've entered without the need for whatever unlocks that door. No, this still needs a key to open. So then what am I doing in here? What have I gained? According to the map, I haven't gotten everything there is to get in here. Oh. Dimitrescu's key! Or Domitrescu. I keep getting that wrong. Okay, that's locked from the other side, but I can probably use this. Oh, shit. Hi. There you are. All this for a child who isn't even here. <laughs> what the hell do. Ah! You ungrateful, selfish wretch! You come into my house! You lay your filthy man hands on my daughters! And now you even try to steal my property! How dare you! Rest I don't understand how the floors here support you. I've fallen through everything so far. I mean, you could have done that just Go now. Ahead. Do your worst. Uh, um, Ethan doesn't speak for me. I would rather she not do her worst. I would rather she just kind of live and let live. Let bygones be bygones.
Once again, I find myself back down in the witch's basement with whatever those things are supposed to be. This place just has endless dungeons to throw me into. <laughs> this is like the third or fourth time I've been thrown in the dungeon, and it's a different dungeon every time. The labyrinth nature of this place makes me feel like... Oh my god! It just never stops! You'll be sliced to ribbons! Before you ever see me, child. Oh, uh, this is a problem for me because that gun contained my trigger finger. What am I doing? What am I doing? Where am I going? What am I doing and where am I going? I have to use... I still have to use this. No, through here. Your right hand is unusable. You're telling me. Surely I can't be going through the rest of the game like this. Ow, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm in a corner. I'm in a corner. There is nothing I can do about that. I hate that. I hate in these segments when you just get pinned into a corner and there's nothing you can do. I couldn't even move. But what was I supposed to do? Okay, I guess we have to sit through all that again. Oh, did that... <laughs> did that not play correctly before? You'll be sliced to ribbons. Before you ever see me, child. Okay, what am I doing? Clearly have to juke through here. Awesome. Make more ways for me to come through. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I got my hand. Well, good thing medical technology is good enough in this universe that I can just staple it back on and have it be fine. I think it was lefty last time, so that means they'll just have equal ability now. Alright, I can go through here again. And things get significantly harder for me if she can just go through the metal grates like that. Here's your key. Come on. Come on. Don't have time to think about whatever. Mask of Sorrow. Okay, great. <laughs> Running will get you nowhere. Except up one floor, apparently. Do it. Do it. Stick it back on. Do it. Do it. Oh my god, you have to. Yes! Yes! Oh, I love this game. <laughs> that is hilarious. I'm going to be using it again right now. Good. Man, screw this castle. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. How am I supposed to take any injury seriously? Okay, you guys can... You guys do not share the sister's aversion to light. How many of you are there? That's the question. Two. I count two so far. There may be more. The important thing is not letting them flank me. One. Come on. That's one down. Two. Two. Two down. Any others? And there they go, calcifying. Now, they do it in a way similar to... There's more. There are definitely more. There's number three. Now, did you just spawn in? Are you going to come endlessly if I don't leave? I can't help but notice that they calcify in a way similar to the antagonists of the previous game. 
when they died, they calcified. Uh, this is another segment of castle, but I think the mask that I picked up before, I think that goes onto one of the angel statues in the main hall. Alright, what else? What else do we have to do? Please be aware that the mistress's lipstick is missing. If anyone finds it, could they please return it to our bathroom? It is custom-made and therefore very expensive. Grand chambermaid. Uh, if I find... Okay, unfortunately it's not a skeleton key. And there's something through there? No, it's just a window covering. If I find that lipstick, can we call it even? I can hear more of them. Those creations have been set loose and are wandering all about. Which means that now is the perfect time to read this journal. One day since treatment, the three girls have stopped moving. They seem almost dead. An insect flew out of the eldest's mouth. It appears to be a common fly. Two days since treatment. All three bodies are covered in flies. It appears the flies are consuming their flesh. When I opened a window, some of the flies dropped dead to the floor. It would seem the cold petrifies them. So it's not the light, it's the cold. I quickly closed the window to avoid weakening the insects further. Four days since treatment. All three bodies have been completely consumed by the insects. All that is left is a dark, writhing, human-shaped mass of creatures. It is just afternoon, and the insects have started to change color. Those around the face turned pale, and those around the lips turned to deep crimson. Six days since treatment. The mass of insects have transformed into human bodies again. All three girls awoke, looking at me like newborns. I sense a bond between us, like mother and daughters. I have already decided their names. Bella, Daniela, and Cassandra. And which one of them did I kill? So hard to keep track. I've killed so many of your people. Hi. I get it. I'm supposed to scooch on past you, making a beeline for those drawers so I can continue looting this place for all it's worth. And you come up behind me and hack me in the back. Well, I'm not having it, sister. Also, I would really love to pick up one of these swords. Okay, so right here I should be able to use the lockpick, which is single use, it seems. So maybe I should have waited another time sniper rifle ammo yeah that's definitely not something i need right at this very moment where's the there you are ah that was a nice little shot you slinking through the shadows and pulling back as i made eye contact but it's not going to save you from me Headshots seem to stagger them more. But it seems like if we're careful and time it correctly, we can deal with you in about four or five hits. Oh, and here's another one of those... miniatures. Flower Swords Ball. This one's already been broken open, though. But it's a copy of the castle. Or is it? Maybe the one that I saw was the house on the hill? I'm not sure. This whole place has gone completely silent. No music, no rasps of those creations. Scientific name, none. Size, five to six centimeters. Similar to body structure to blowflies, although there are differences in the head. They're carnivorous and vigorously consume meat. 
In order to catch unsuspecting prey, they'll gather using pheromones to mimic a human. They're produced when a kadu lays eggs in its host, but the flies themselves are unable to reproduce. They're weak to sudden drops in temperature, especially if the temperature below drops to below 50 Fahrenheit. Their metabolism lowers and they go into a dormant cryptobiotic state, similar to the cryptobiosis of tardigrade or polydelum van der Planke. Hmm. So it's not the sunlight that gets them, it's the cold. But that's interesting because it plays off of the knowledge of vampires, which is that they can't be around sunlight. And so the way that that scene where we learn the weakness is presented, it's almost like she's being affected by the sunlight, but it's not. It's the cold. It was the snow blowing through the window. <laughs> okay, I don't know music. I'm going to have to look up a guide for this one. But... First, I'm going to go looking for how this connects to the rest of the house. I'm just assuming that more of you will come every time I'm out here. So I'm not going to bother trying to fight you anymore. Or maybe I should. I might actually be able to make a profit off of you guys. If I kill you with the handgun ammo, I'll probably get more for the crystal skulls than I would from having to buy the ammo. Now he... We're going back the other way. Nope, nope, shoot. And she's still chasing me. This was a plan that I did not think through. So they really can just come at me at any time. Is she still chasing me? That's the question. How will I know when... I hear footsteps. I think she's still coming. I think she stopped, but I need to know now that I can never be sure. No, she's in here. She's in here. She's in here and she's coming for me. I need to figure out what to do with this piano. Oh, I see. You don't have to know music. But it will take time. Meanwhile, for all I know, I'm attracting her with this sound. key. Iron insignia key. But where do I use that? Uh, there's so many locked doors. Maybe if I check the map. And according to this, I have not found everything in the opera hall. Maybe upstairs. Of course, I'm kind of hesitant to go upstairs, knowing that Lady Domitrescu is here! Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Actually, I might not even be able to outrun her. I couldn't outrun her daughters. I also hope she doesn't have the intelligence to be able to head me off. I can use a key here. Please let this be what I need to use this on. Yes! But where is she? Come on, go, 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 go. Ow. Oh, I did not need so to be dealing with one of you right now. Yep. Uh, what if I shoot the... Wait, he said it's not breaking. He actually had dialogue for that. That's cool. It anticipated that I would try to break the ceiling. I don't know what I can do to actually prevent damage right now. It seems obvious to me that I should be trying to break the ceiling, but... There's no indication that it's doing anything for me. Come on. 
game, if, if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, will you please in some way signal to me that that's what's supposed to happen? It doesn't help that I can't even see anything. My arm is up in front of my face, constantly swatting the flies away. Oh. Oh my god, I'm actually, you know what, I'm gonna restart this part. Wait, restart from previous save? When's my previous save? No, you know what? I'm actually gonna let you kill me. I actually want you to kill me right now so that I can reload to the beginning of this boss fight and keep my ammo. And there we go. No, I do not want to change the difficulty to casual. Are you kidding me? I literally only killed myself so that I would keep the ammo that it just gave me. Or that I just used. Alright. So I got that key. And where's that lever? Right here. And Colden. And this is what the shotgun is for. Oh, I am. Lady Domitresk's gonna have to plan two funerals for today. Why are you doing this? Oh no, the ceiling closed. I'm gonna have to make my way back to that lever again. Ugh! Doesn't help that this is one boss fight where half the problem is not being able to see anything. Be it from the dark corners of this room or from me waving my hand in front of my face. Oh, get out of the way! I can't see what I'm doing. Let there be cold. And die. And why die. And die. What do you mean, why would I do this? You're literally in the process of trying to murder me. Can you please react when I shoot you so that you don't have the chance to do that to me? Too bad. Uh, finally. Oh, that's, that's two out of three. Box. And I get another crystal torso. Which I can make a mint selling. Well, with that done, time to loot the rest of this place. What's through here? Oh, surprise, surprise, more castle. Have I seen this before? I kind of feel like I have. This image looks familiar. But I don't think I've been in this part of the castle before. Mask of Joy. That's the one slot mask, so that's two out of the four masks that I need in order to do whatever's going on in the foyer. Foyer? Uh, but... It seems like even as I figure out one thing, I'm finding new mysteries that need to be solved. Let the five bells of this chamber ring out. No, guys, I don't have time for another puzzle. I just want to find another save. This game seems to be relying far more on autosaves to the point where I don't even know why it's bothering with the typewriters. Ah, this takes me back out to here. So it's not entirely separate loops at all. It will Cassandra, come here now. Enough games. I want that cat. Ed, now go. Of course, mother. Seems I've made an enemy for life and now that I've killed two daughters, something tells me finding that lipstick isn't going to cut it anymore. It's a little bit interesting that they let me just sit there and watch that play out. What would have happened if I had gone down there and gotten their attention? I can hear her walking around, and I'm kind of trapped in here now. I was going to end out this episode by making a run for that save room with the merchant, but... Will I be able to get there now? There's been a shift in the music, which I assume is going to mean that she's left the area. Never mind. You find me... Oh, no! That's not good. 
Uh, can shooting you stagger you? I don't think so. Oh no, I don't want to run this way. If I run this way, I'm going to be heading straight back down into the basement. Uh, but with my newfound firepower and confidence, maybe I can handle what's down there. Now I have a lot of keys, which I can try. Ah yes, Domitrescu's key does work on this door. What's in here? It's another one of those masks. Yes, that's three out of four, and that's the four slot. I'm making much more progress just by accident. Oh, this door is closed behind me, but I have another way out. I feel like I'm finding answers to problems I don't even know I have yet. You know, I'm going to give this game credit again for the way it's paced, though. It has very naturally done something where I always feel like I'm running away, but somehow I'm always running into the next thing that I need. That's not just random chance. That is actually thoughtful game design. And I do notice it. I was worried my oh, I can let some cold in! <laughs> oh. I guess not. I still have- there's still work to be done. I could break it open with a powerful attack. Uh, such as with a blow from a shotgun? Uh, maybe not. So what's a powerful attack then in this context? I need health. I, I really need health. Thank you for letting me pause to craft. I need as much health as I can possibly make. A pipe bomb. That's what I need. Okay, um... I hate fumbling around with menus. I hate fumbling around with menus. I need to take this. Uh, I'm so slow when it comes to menus. I hate having to use them. Use that. Ow. Immediately lose it all. Grab the pipe bomb and chuck it over there. And now we are on roughly equal footing, aren't we? Yes, your body. Boy. Now, what if I use the other pipe bomb on you now, miss? Like so. And then if I stagger you. And that is three for three. Lady Domitrescu, you now find yourself utterly daughterless. And I find myself an utterly wealthy man. Now, there's no more swarms of bug ladies for me to worry about. <laughs> and I'm still just looting this place for all its artifacts. Of course, if I were smart, I'd be putting on one of these suits of armor. Yeah, what I really need is greaves to wear on my hands, since that's where all the punishment seems to be focused. Can't get through here. Seems my save game might be a little bit delayed. Is there is there anywhere I can go through here, or do I just have to make my way back? I think I just have to head back. No, I don't mean to heal. I'm wasting so many resources by accidentally pressing control. I'm going to have to rebind that, because that is unacceptable. No, I actually can't make my way back through here. Maybe I am actually supposed to climb out through that hole. No. So what do I do then? Actually, let me examine that animal skull. I always forget that I can examine those items. Mounted animal skull. Mm, yeah, right here. There are protrusions. Wait, no, not you. There are protrusions on the back. Four pegs. And also four pegs. So what's... Okay, I'm officially confused. 
it's not the fourth mask. Or is it? Oh, I see. I see. This gate is controlled by the mask not being there. So if I put the animal skull on here... There we go. Now remember, this castle is not safe yet. We may be safe from blinding insects, but there's still plenty here that wants us dead. Including one very large vampire lady who is going to be angrier than ever. And maybe I shouldn't be following this closely behind. I'm going to go ahead and assume that she can't follow me into the save room. She saw me. That is, is that is that is so you. dumb. She saw me through that. How am I supposed to peek if she can see me literally through the gaps in this railing? Well, I can't really juke around you right now, and I really don't want to be wasting any health. I just don't have the chem fluid. You still, you're still after me. You're still after me. I'm assuming you're not going to be able to follow me through here, but... I've been doing a lot of assuming, and it hasn't been doing me a lot of good. Please, just let me save so I can end this part, miss. I can still hear her stomping around. She doesn't actually seem to have even noticed me, though. Unless she just immediately de when I came in here. I don't really have a lot of places I can go right now. There's not a lot of room for juking her out. She's right there. Okay. Learn our lesson. This time let her walk all the way away before attempting to peek. I'm not taking my own advice right now, am I? But this is a more open area. Hopefully, hopefully it will allow me more time to make a run for it if need be. Don't like that. Don't like that she does that. Oh, that is such good anticipation of player reactions, though. Having a patrolling enemy that periodically just looks behind them. That is such good game design. And you know what? I'm not going to press my luck. I'm not going to press my luck with these statues. I'm just going to save. And in this part right here at long last. It's a pleasure to see you safe. How were things? No sign of Rose. I'm so sorry it turned out that way. Well, you'll find your way to her once you're out of this castle. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? I've expanded my services. Please, come take a look. Well, that is good to hear because I oh, definitely am in need of your services. Of to pass the time. Uh, but before I start looking at your wares, I got a whole lot of this family's corpses I want to sell you. Uh, that's four skulls, two daughters. Anything else? No, I think that'll about cover it, but that will definitely fatten my purse a little bit. This should be enough. Yep. I've gotten some new stock. Now, what do you have? Uh, I haven't really run into a need for more ammo yet, so I'm going to hold off on that for now. But what else have you got? I can upgrade the power of the pistol once more, and that would certainly be worth it. Meanwhile, the shotgun, I could also use an increase in power, but also... I mean, I don't often find myself firing it except for in boss fights, but then maybe that's exactly when I need it. I have the money to do both, but maybe I'll want to save it? I'm definitely going to want the level 2 pistol. 
These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Because I want to be able to do a lot of damage with my most common ammo type. Other than that, I think I could take it or leave it. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications. And all right, that's all I'm going to do for now, but I will certainly be back. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to save. And next time, we will see about acquiring that last mask. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. And as always, I will see you in the next one.